Today, I wanna do a few things. I wanna tell you our 2022 plan, the whole year for all of our sales and events that we've got going on. I wanna unload a little mini kiln that we fired yesterday. And wow, look at that, look at that. And lastly, I wanna show you how I threw this giant bowl. Okay, it's not giant, giant, but it was like eight or nine pounds. Every year around January, I like to do bigger stuff and do some different stuff. So I'll show you the throwing of that. So we got a little bit of everything in today's video. All right, so 2022, we've scheduled out all of our online sales. Most of the time we're gonna do the first Sunday of every month. So the first one is on February 6th. That's 6 p.m. is our first restock. We'll have over 100 pieces. We also have a few in-person studio events. So last year we did our first epic pottery event and we're doing it again this year, August 13th and 14th. If you guys are planning out your summer schedule, I'd love to have you join me at my studio where we do throwing and I have tons of pots for sale and we do raku firings and it's just a really fun event. Last year we had, you could glaze your own pots. Uh, it's a really fun event. So we're bringing that back this year. It's gonna be even bigger and better. And if you can't make that one, we also have an in-person studio event in the end of September called the Art Wander. We'll have probably five artists here at my studio. Uh, you can come check it out. It's a really cool event. This year, I'm super excited about doing some wood firing. So I've connected with a local wood fire potter who I'm gonna go, the first firing is gonna be end of February, which I'm very, very excited for. Uh, and then I'm hoping to get back to North Carolina too to fire again with Matthew Kelly Pottery like we did last year. If you haven't seen those that video, it's definitely the best video that I've ever made. So check that out. So that's kind of the overview of 2022. Right now, we're gonna unload this glaze kiln. I'm very excited about some of the results in here. If you watched the video about the new marbling technique that I did, um, we got quite a few of those testers in here, which is very exciting. It's pretty cool. That clear glaze just makes it pop. So we're gonna unload that stuff. Then we gotta bring some of that stuff to Mocha Monkey. So a lot of what's in there is Minnesota mugs or Mocha Monkey logo mugs that we put for sale at the coffee shops. So we gotta bring those there. Uh, and I'm headed to Colorado tomorrow to do some snowboarding, which I am ecstatic. I have not been on a real snowboard trip since before my first son was born, which was like four years ago. And I, that's something that's been a big part of my life forever. So I'm very excited for that. So yesterday I was planning on glazing a whole, you know, 60 or 70 pots to get in the big kiln. But after I glazed like 10, I just was kind of like a little burnt out. I was like, God, I just don't have any inspiration. I didn't know how to glaze. And it doesn't happen to me too often. Usually when I get a bunch of bisque pieces ready to glaze, I'm like, got a bunch of ideas I wanna try, like things that I know will sell. Um, and yesterday I just wasn't feeling it. So I quit after like 20 pieces, 25 pieces, that's about how many I can get in the small kiln. And just said, hey, I'm gonna just put it off. I was feeling a little uninspired. So hopefully some of the results out of here can get me re-inspired. Then I gotta clean up this whole studio. That's the thing. Anytime I go on vacation for a few days, I wanna make sure that I leave the studio super clean so when I come back, it's like right back into work mode. All right, here we go. Let's unload this thing. Turns out I unloaded the top shelf and camera wasn't recording. So, stupid me. Got some sweet vases out. And then what did we get out? A bunch of these marbled Minnesotas. So this kiln is really heavy on the Norse blue. This is Norse blue. So this is indigo rain over Norse blue with the marbled Minnesota. So, and then I had a bowl here that was, was actually from a bunch of leftovers from a different fire that didn't all fit. We had a Mocha Monkey logo mugs. Those I have sold really well at the coffee shop, so I've been making more of these. And this turned out awesome. So it's got white gloss over Norse blue. Really cool texture. It's perfect with the snowflakes. Love it. Love it, love it. Spoon rests. One of my goals this year was to make, just have more little stuff on hand at all times so I could fill all the gaps in the kiln. And then here's one that turned out okay, Norse Blue over Indigo Rain. This one I kind of showed you already, but that's really, really cool. So cool, love it. Okay, so then now we have the bottom shelf, which we got a couple cups, same pattern where we did warm colors on the bottom, cool colors on the top. That's very cool, really cool, wow. I've uh, got a few more Minnesota mug with that Norse blue. Wow, really good. That's probably some of the best white gloss over Norse blue. I've had a few issues with that, but really love it. Let's get this unloading under control. Wow, look at that, look at that. That's what's so fun about this technique is you just don't, you kind of put a bunch of clay together and you're not exactly sure how it's gonna turn out. Orange reds, 
blues, greens, really beautiful. This is like a great cup. Oh, so fun. All right, here's a couple Minnesota Raspberry Mist and Norse Blue with snowflakes in the Minnesota. A couple more marble tumblers that just have the straight blue pattern. They're the cool color pattern, not the orange. A couple Minnesota or Mocha Monkey logo mugs. Indigo rain. Beautiful. All right, and the last two. The last two things in this kiln. Snowflake, Norse Blue, and White Gloss. So if you've watched a lot of my kiln unloading videos, that one was probably one of the more boring ones. A lot of the same color. Usually with my kiln unloadings, I have a lot of variation in color. So now what happens with all the pot is I will bring them over here on the wheel and use this Diamond Core Tools grinding disc. This is a way to just make sure everything is completely flat so it won't wobble. And it also takes any like rough edges off the bottom so it won't scratch tables and stuff like that. This is what we have so far for the restock. Very exciting stuff. Insanity mugs up here, some bowls, some bunch of stuff. Spoon rests, butter crocks, lots of lots of mugs. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super pumped for 2022. We have tons of good stuff going on. I'm really excited to get hopefully a little more into the wood firing and show you guys a lot of those new techniques too. I've really only wood fired with Matthew Kelly, which he has a fantastic system and I love his work, but there's a lot of different styles of wood firing, which it's gonna be super fun. And uh, check out all the dates. First Sunday of every month, usually, depending on what we have going on. Uh, I'd love to see you at our Epic Pottery event version two, coming out August 13, 14. Waconia, Minnesota. Minnesota is beautiful in the summer, so if you're planning your summer road trips and you wanna make a little pottery stop in there, August 13th and 14th, or end of September, September 24, 25, 26. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. Super appreciate it. Shout out to all the patrons on Patreon. You Love you guys so much over there. Patrons get 
pre-sale access to all of our restocks so they get to choose uh, whatever they want before the craziness of whatever happens right when we drop. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.